So let's first start by examining how an IRB knows who to provide IRB review for, and that's found in the Federal White Assurance. Okay, so what is this Federal White Assurance? According to the IRB's federal regulators, otherwise known as the Office for Human Research Protections, and they also go by OHRP or OHARP, based in the Department of Health and Human Services, or HHS, under a federal wide assurance, an institution commits to HHS that it will comply with the requirements set forth in 45 CFR Port 46, as well as the terms of assurance. Translated, this means that a FWA is an agreement between an institution and the feds that if you, meaning the institution, accept federal money for human subjects research, you're going to follow those human subjects regulations. It's important to note that the FWA is an agreement between the institution and the feds, not between the IRB and the feds. But the FWA also defines many other aspects. The federal wide assurance defines the institution. So who are you? For example, the Harvard University area FWA lists the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, as well as the graduate schools. There may be other FWAs that only list the university, or they also might include an affiliated hospital or community partner. The FWA defines who you are as an institution. The FWA also outlines the regulations that will be followed. If the research is federally funded, 45 CFR 46 is to be followed. There's also an option to apply the federal regulations to all research regardless of funding. You may have heard of this, it's known as checking the box on the FWA. While in practice, IRBs do apply the federal regulations to all research, regardless of funding or not, they don't check the box on the FWA. There are multiple reasons for this, but some of the more salient reasons are because, one, only federally funded studies would be subject to a federal audit, and two, you may implement flexibility measures for non-federally funded studies. For example, creating a special carve out for a certain type of research or longer approval periods for other studies. The FWA identifies which IRB will be used to review the federally funded research. For most academic institutions, there is an internal IRB. However, for those institutions that do not have an internal IRB, an external IRB is required to be listed. This IRB might be a commercial IRB or another institution's IRB. And finally, the FWA defines who the institution's agents are according to how the institution is defined. Yes, agent is a regulatory term that is used for your people. An agent may be a faculty member, a staff person, a student, or a contractor. An agent does not have to be paid by the institution. Rather, an individual is an agent if they've been authorized to conduct human research on behalf of an institution. So as you can see, the FWA does a lot of things. It really defines your turf. It defines who your institution is, the regulations that you follow, what IRB will perform the review, and who your agents are. 